This video is sponsored by the book, Amazon Alexa, More Than Weather and Music. You wanna get more from your Echo, right? Here are my top 10 Alexa tips and tricks. Hello tech friends, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Craig. I love using tech and seeing what it can do for us. If that sounds like something you're into, stick around. There are so many things you can do with your Echo and so much to learn. This is a consolidated list from over the past two years of my top 10 Alexa tips and tricks. Actually, there's 11 tips and tricks because I couldn't help myself. I had to throw in a bonus tip. Now to learn more about these features, check out the 2018 and 2019 Echo series in the description. Before we get started, this video's sponsor may be able to help you get more from your Echo. It is the book, Amazon Alexa, More Than Weather and Music. This book can show you 200 ways to use your Echo. It is a very visual book. Each page will show you the name of a different use, a brief summary of what it does, and the commands to use it. It's easy to pick up. You pick a page, you learn something new, or you could go to the index in the back and find things based on categories. Now, you can buy a physical copy of the book on Amazon or get a digital copy from Apple using the links in the description. Let's get started. Now, these are in no particular order. Number one is a trick to turn your smart plugs into lights. If you go into the app and you select devices, then pick plugs, you're gonna see your plugs in here I'm gonna pick my key light, and if I go to the gear in the upper right hand corner, you're going to see type. Now type is defaulted to plug. If I go and change this from plug to light, this is now going to act like a light. I'll actually find this now under not plugs anymore. Instead, you'll find it under lights. So here is my key light. Now this plug is going to respond to commands as if it were a smart light. And this ties into number two. Number two is making groups. You definitely wanna make sure your echoes, plugs, smart lights, all of those things are in a group. If you go under the app and then devices, you could see the groups that I made. And it's really easy to create a group. You hit the plus sign and you hit add a group. And from there, you name the group. We'll just call this lounge. Next. And then I'll pick the devices that I want in that group. Now note, you could only put devices and echoes into one group. But once you do that, you could say things like, Alexa, turn off the lights. And your echo will know what lights you're talking about. Now this is great. You don't need to remember the name of all your lights throughout the house. Groups really can help you out a lot. Number three is scheduling routines. Why have to do repetitive actions? Let a do some of them for you. I know every night I'm going to need to turn on lights in the living room. I have one routine that turns on a light in a corner when it starts to get dark at 3.30. At sunset, I have a routine that runs and brings up the rest of my lights. At 11 p.m., it all shuts off. In the morning, my lights come on right before my alarm goes off. Another routine turns them off at 8 a.m. So there's no more forgetting lights on. Now this could be applied to a lot of different areas. Maybe you forget something that you need to do regularly, take medication, pick up someone, create a routine that reminds you of it. Number four, I did in a video a couple of weeks ago, try using motion or door sensors to trigger routines. When you use motion sensors, it starts a task for you. When you walk in the room, you feel like you're living in the future, like Star Trek's happening now. Now when you open the door, lights come on and your echo welcomes you home. Maybe even start some music playing for you. Check out motion sensors and door sensors. Number five is a tip that will keep your family in the loop when it comes to schedules. If you're using a Gmail account, iCloud, Microsoft, or Microsoft Exchange, create shared calendars. For example, my wife and I have shared work personal and family calendars. This keeps us in sync across our phones, computers, and Echoes. When you link your accounts to your Echo, your family knows what's going on. If you have an Echo show, you have the option for the next event to show up on the screen. So no more excuses for forgetting what's coming up. You can also work calendars into a routine that maybe runs when your alarm goes off and it'll tell you what your day holds in store for you. Number six, don't listen to just one Echo at a time. Create multi-room music groups. With multi-room music groups, you can have your music and podcast playing upstairs, downstairs, 
everywhere or make any combination of echoes that you want to make. This is great for playing music from one of the supported streaming services, streaming radio stations or podcasts throughout the house. Number seven is use Bluetooth. You're not limited to the sound of your Echo speaker. Buy a better sounding Bluetooth speaker and pair it to your Echo. It'll give you a little bit of flexibility. You can move it around if it's a battery operated one like this. And by the way, this Anchor speaker is great. I'm gonna link it down in the description if you wanna check it out. Also with Bluetooth, you're not limited to just the streaming services Amazon offers. Create your own playlist on your phone. Use a non-supported service and use Bluetooth to stream them to your Echo. Or turn on a YouTube video and have the sound play over your Echo. Something to note with Bluetooth audio streaming from your phone, you most likely will have an audio lag when watching video. Number eight trick is having Alexa remember things for you. Are there things you or the family may need to know? Maybe you need to remember the combination to a lock or where you put the extra keys. Maybe the name of that new neighbor because you're horrible with names. If you want Alexa to remember something, you can say, Alexa, remember the combination to the lock is one, two, three, four. You want me to note the combination to the lock is one, two, three, four, right? Yes. Okay, noted. By the way, if you want to find one of your notes, just ask me for specific words, like, what are my notes about Bob? To recall it, you can ask a What's the combination of the lock? This is what I found. The combination to the lock is 1234, and the combination lock is 4321. I actually did this demo before, and that's why I have the 4321 in there. To get it to forget something, you can say, Alexa, forget the combination of the lock is 1234. You want me to not forget the combination the lock is one, two, three, four, right? Yes. Okay, noted. Number nine trick is to have Alexa read your eBooks for you. Maybe you don't have the audio book for the book you're reading. Don't fear, Alexa's there to read it to you. It will be in Alexa's voice, but it won't cost you anything more. You can just say, Alexa, read my book, The Hit. Resuming Craig's book, The Hit. Will Roby book two. Acknowledgements. To Michelle for taking care of everything else in the way only you can. It may come in handy if you're busy doing something and you just wanna have that book. Number 10 is great for communicating across echoes. First is drop in. You can ask Alexa to drop in on another echo device. Alexa, drop in on the bedroom. Bedroom echo show, right? Yes. When you drop in on another Echo Show, it will be a video call. Right now, it's connecting up and apparently, I don't know what's going on. I think my cat is actually in front of it and it's having a hard time focus. Yes, that is my cat right there. <laughs> Thank you, kitty. Alexa, hang up. Now, the second way to communicate is with announcements. You can let everyone know dinner is ready by saying, Alexa, announce dinner is ready. Announcing. Dinner, dinner, is, ready. dinner is ready. When you say dinner, it uh, gives you a little bell. It doesn't always do that. Uh, or you can let everyone know you're home by saying, Alexa, announce that Craig is home. Announcing. Craig, Craig is, home. is home. A bonus feature is being able to control your Fire TV with your Echo and voice. You can pair your Fire TV to your Echo. You do this by going into the app. Once you open the app, hit the lines at the upper left hand corner. Look for settings. Scroll down to where you see TV and video. And you'll see under featured, you'll see Fire TV. You hit plus. Here you select link your device, and this gives me the choice of my Fire TV Cube or my Fire TV Stick. I select the Fire TV Stick, hit continue, and then you pick which echoes you wanna be able to control it from. I just wanna use this one echo here, the Office Echo. 